So when did your marriage fall apart? Um, for me, our marriage fell apart six years ago. Prior to that, there were some hills and valleys, but I felt like we were working through those. But six years ago, I came across a letter that was written to someone other than me. It was of a sexual nature. He was asking someone, you know, basically would they do certain things with him? A woman? I don't know. So am I here because six years ago, your husband wrote a letter to an unknown person asking them to do sexual things? Is that why I'm here? No. Okay, why am I here? You're here to help me <laughs> um, find myself in, in losing myself in this marriage, you know, in my life. W was it ever a marriage? Because I, I, I haven't heard the love story. I haven't heard the connection. I haven't heard anything. What the heck is really going on here? What is going on under this roof in this place? What's going on here? I'm trying to answer your questions. Where's your wedding ring? Right here. OK, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. And what is that? This is his wedding ring. He took it off like two years ago, and I held on to it. I always thought we were working through things. Baby, your thinking can be hazardous to your healing. Because yeah. your power as a woman is your heart. It's your heart. So what if I were to tell you that all women marry their I father? I know, I know, yes. Did you marry your father? A man you thought would be there and take yes. care of you? And so that means that somewhere in this process of your marriage, you've also been unwanted mm -hmm. and rejected and disappointed and replaced. Oh, yeah. Just like me. I spent 40 years, 40 years of my life looking for daddy. So what do you do? Do you just let that idea go? You got to sit in your truth. Mm. <laughs> Give me a hug. Let <laughs> 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 your heart break. Just let it break.